Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Lone Fungus. It is a really adorable looking pixel art Met Metroidvania that came out in 1.0 earlier today. So, I want to take a look at this. Just, okay, three lives and shrine respawn. I'm curious about what the three lives mean. It looks like maybe you have three lives in the room before you go back to the shrine. I'm going to assume that. Five starting HP. I don't know what assist mode is or anything like that. But I'm going to play normal. I was originally afraid when I saw the three lives, I'm like, wait, do I only have three lives to beat this game? Because that's terrifying. Wake up, green cap. You're the last of your kind. To bring us back, you must reach the top of the world. Oh, well, that was it. Reach to the top of the world and then do your, your bad mushroom thing. Oh, I'm cute and very bouncy. Oh, there's like a really nice little stretch and skew when I get to do stuff. And my running cycle is very much like, I'm gonna get ya. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I remember. So I actually, uh, so I played a little bit of this earlier, uh, really right before I hit the recording button for this. Uh, because out of sheer curiosity, I was like, huh, I wonder. Nope, nothing to do in this room. I wonder if this would actually run on my Steam Deck, because I have one, and I figure... I might as well actually start previewing that out beforehand uh, to say whether or not like this runs on the Steam Deck, just in case anybody's wondering. The answer is yes, seamlessly. It's not rated as such on Steam, but I'm sure it'll get there. You're finally awake. I cannot believe how long it's been since I've seen any mushrooms around here. Oh, I can actually pan. That's cool. Do I know you? Oh, no, but I know you. My sole purpose was to welcome you here, Master Greencap. As you can see, this place appears a bit deserted. It's unfortunate that you have to witness the world in this condition. Something occurred a long time ago, something that my creators feared greatly. However, you have the ability to correct things. How do I do that? Let's take it easy for now. Instead of worrying about that, why don't you familiarize yourself with the surroundings first? I just want to ensure you understand that our objective is to offer assistance and support. You should investigate the remainder of these caves now. But be cautious, not everyone is friendly. Trust only the stationary statues. The statues that are freely moving may pose a potential threat. Whee! Time to go commit chaos. I like that small tilt as I fall. So we've got shrines. Uh, let's see, equip, teleport, and learn. Well, nothing I can mess around with that yet. You wanna go over here? Uh, okay. I'm curious how many other enemy types we're going to run into. Also, music? It's kind of nice. When I do the boost, my character kind of does like a, a shout. That's cute. Yeah, so because I've played this slight uh, for a little bit, I know at least the intro. And then this is about where I stop. So, Pine Sword serves as your main weapon and doubles as a versatile tool. With a downward slash, you can bounce off of enemies and objects, reaching previously inaccessible areas. X to attack with your sword. Try it on spikes. Oh, interesting. So I don't have to press down while I'm doing it. I can actually just press Y. That's kind of nice. Min mind shroom you find. Every mind shroom you find will decrease the cost of offensive powers, which use MP to cast. You haven't found any powers yet. And we also have a secret. Being able to just press Y instead of X to use the down down attack is kind of nice. I didn't mind sword pogoing in in Hollow Knight. I got used to it, but there was definitely that feeling of like, yeah, I'm missing a couple of these because my uh, my controller wasn't quite handling the whole holding down on the stick thing. I don't know something to do with dead zones and some other stuff. Welcome to the Color Caverns. It's been a while since I've had the chance to greet someone like this. You made it here with some impressive sword skills. It's too bad your mushroom cap is too large to allow you to slash upwards, isn't it? Yeah, I guess I'll have to adapt to that. Can you believe these caverns used to be a serene and peaceful place? Unfortunately, they are now infested with critters and germs, which makes me feel itchy all over. Apparently, I can bring mushrooms back somehow. Do you know how I can do that? I'm not certain, though there is someone who definitely knows the answer to your question. The Grand Librarian pri, li, bl, Grand Librarian is a statue that resides in these caverns and is known to possess vast amounts of knowledge. However, I'm not sure if you can enter here yet. Remember, sometimes in order to move forward, we must take a step back 
And sometimes in order to reach higher heights, we must first descend. Does that make sense? No, but it does sound cool. All right, so yeah, I can't get here yet. We need a double jump or something. I can hit those flowers though. Peace. I'm digging this, this is cute. I'm not sure where it matches up with Metroidvanias, but honestly, like, oops. Eh, whatever, we got a shrine in a second anyway. It's one of those where, like, I don't want to say I've become not picky with Metroidvanias. I think I used to care more. Uh, let's see. So we also, oh wait, no, learn. Mm, I don't, well, I guess we're going to the pogo section. Sure, why not? I want to see if these green, these green things are useful at all. They're like collectibles that I guess I'm supposed to hoard. Doesn't look like I take damage in here, which is nice. There we go. Oh, got it. Well, that was easy enough. I will admit I tried doing that on the Steam Deck and I was having a little bit of trouble. The weight of the Steam Deck makes it a little harder to have fine-tuned controller controls, but I don't know. Maybe other people have different experiences f compared to what I experience. I do not use that platform at all for... Nope, doesn't look like I can do anything with this one. I don't use that platform at all for action games and I probably never will. Uh, maybe like Tales of Arise, but anything that requires precision or platforming, eh, not really my thing. At, at some point, I'll do some kind of Steam Deck review, but not today. I, I don't know, just time, man. I saw somebody complaining in my, my videos, uh, being like, Wander, stop, stop complaining so much about, like, how little time you have, but, like, boy, if I had any complaints at life, it's very much just the limited amount of time that I, I have for everything that I want to do is uh, incredibly restrictive. And it uh, it is always on my mind. Or it's at least on my mind a lot more than I'd like it to be. So I don't think I can do anything with this yet. However, no, that's not. Yeah, so we'll come back here. And I can't do anything else. I wonder if you can actually... I gotta check this. Nope, doesn't look like you can change the difficulty at any time. I kind of wish you could. Uh, if only for the sake of uh, saying like, eh, this is a little too hard. Like, I, I actually really like... Oh, Healing Fungus gives you the ability to heal for the cost of 30 MP. Full MP, you'll be able to heal three times in a row, indicated by the green dots. B to heal. Alright, so I'm getting some pretty strong Hollow Knight vibes from this. And I don't mind. The longing for my creators is overwhelming and the sadness within me is unbearable. Is there something I can do? I long to behold the stunning mushroom cap of my creator again. It closely resembles mine, but is so vibrant and colorful. Huh. My cap looks nothing like his, and I have yet to encounter any other mushrooms. Kind of sucks that the uh, previous mushrooms created all of these uh, kind of sentient statue things to remain immobile. They probably don't have much of a choice, but boy, if you're going to make a, uh, a society with sentient robots, give them some autonomy just in case you go away. I guess the entire point is, but what if, what if the robots stage uh, an insurrection and, and destroy all life as we know it? You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if that isn't actually secretly going to be the plot that the, ro the stone statues, one of them went mad and destroyed everything because it couldn't move normally, but figured out how to get some ambulation and, well, ambulated his way across all of Mushroom society. I should probably use the... Oops, ow. That is entirely my fault. That is fine. What is this? Shield cap. Ability to parry enemy attacks. Parrying attack uh, enemy projectiles will throw a projectile back at the enemy. Successful parry depletes one of your parry charges. If all are depleted, you won't be able to parry until they recharge. Tap B to parry. Cool. Oh, and that just teleports me back to the start. Well, that's nice. And yeah, we might as well just heal back up. I see. Boop.
There we go. I was doing it too, uh, too early. And then I wasn't taking any, or I was doing it too early or too late. I'm not sure if I can actually parry melee attacks. I know I can parry projectiles. That's that much I'm well aware of, but attacks? I don't know. Unfortunately, parry systems in games, not my strong suit. That's that's one thing I'm actually like kind of super bad about. I wish wish I was better. Okay, I can't hit those. Ow. Carniflower. Yikes. I might as well heal over here. I do have to say, I have a very soft spot. Nope, that ain't it. Try that again. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can specifically ow. I don't know if I'm gonna get good at it. We also have to worry about parry parry counters and some other things. And luckily, MP is incredibly common and friendly. Red spikes won't hurt you, but I advise you don't touch them. Huh. You're probably stuck. Alright. I might be able to parry those, but... Gosh, I'm bad at it. There we go. What is this? Oh, it's a mini shrine. So let's see if I can learn anything else. Or, oh, parry. Well, you know what? Let's do it. I like tutorialization. That's optional. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that helps me too much. So maybe I have to be here. work. I'm not sure how I'm going to hit this one. Because I can jump. Parry anything in the game. However, enemy projectiles will bounce off your mushroom cap and damage enemies. Always bounce off diagonally upwards relative to... Oh. You also strike your own projectiles. Got it. So if I do a quick parry and then an attack. Try that again. I, I'm just, I gotta, I gotta get this to work. Cause yeah, being able to re redirect those shots. The problem is the parry and the attack are on opposite sides of the controller. So it's a little scuffed, but on the flip side, I don't know. I do really appreciate that these are actually tutorialized. Because, yeah, I was legitimately having some trouble there. And it's nice. Oh, hello. Warrior statue. Who disturbs my peaceful slumber? A mushroom returning. I was informed of one of your kind's return. This signals the impending apocalypse. Unless I take action immediately, I will eradicate this pestilence from this world once and for all. I think I'll have to fight this thing. All right, so the problem is, how? Okay. Oh, hmm. Okay, there's, there's our option. Okay, gotta, well, gotta not goof it too much. You know, I was talking about how sometimes it felt like uh, my stick being in the wrong spot would make things a lot harder. Here. Okay, cool. Ow. Unfortunately, contact damage is not my friend ever. Oops. Yeah, this might take another try. And so when he's doing the red glow, that's when I know he's doing the stomp. Uh, 
That didn't work. Got him anyway. Alright. Not my best boss fight ever, but learning the controls. And also, it does seem like the D-pad is the way to go. Mushroom infusion. An ability to use mush movers. All around the world for traversal. Strike one with your sword to use it. It's probably those gray, gray things we've been seeing this entire time. Okay. And I guess I might as well equip Spike Bounce. Ability to bounce in spikes without slashing with your sword. It'll not work on enemies, and it will break after two bounces. Hold down while jumping to use it. Oh. Okay. Seems reasonable enough. Yeah, now we should have... a lot of these. Oh, you know what? I never went down here. The green crystal eye will allow you to see where you normally can't. It won't do much more than that, I'm afraid. Okay, so we've got, oh, we've got a labyrinth, but we can get something interesting for our troubles. Oh, I see. Knight's Relic allows you to attack while walking without any slowdown. Ooh, that's nice. Let's go back up. This actually, this is a really good Metroidvania. I think it's only a small issue that I would say is like, well, I don't know. I think it's very much one of those games that is probably going to be more keyed for people that, oh, did I actually talk to this thing? I think I did. Yeah, just don't touch him. Um, but it almost feels more keyed for people who have played Fall Hollow Knight. Oops. I was going to say, Max MP? I, okay, I thought those guys would only give me, um, yeah, I, I thought those guys would only give me health, but if I can actually get random resources off of fighting enemies, that's really helpful. I don't know how rare it is. Ooh, big map. But, kind of like getting EXP, getting small benefits, like, oh, and, okay, that's a much bigger boost. But getting small benefits, like, Okay, so that got me some MP. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can actually cross this. No. Looks like I'm out of luck. Well, we'll just ignore it for the time being. Um, but I find a lot of Metroidvanias have kind of an enemy issue. Where fighting them is meaningless. They're just an obstacle. And so Hollow Knight did it well just by making currency worthwhile. A number of them make it worthwhile because... Uh, they give EXP, and the more EXP you have, obviously, the stronger you get, and you can use that in various manners. Brain Node! Uh, gathering Brain Nodes will give you six Brain Points. Brain Points are used to equip relics of this save shrine. Yup. Um, but, what was I going to say? Uh, but, like, EXP is a good way of incentiv incentivizing fighting enemies. Um, there we go. Or, in this case, yeah, having very rare passive upgrades. Wait, hold up. Yeah. That wall looked funky. Looked wrong. Hey! And we, what do we have in here? Oh, boy. Oh, freaking boy. This is going to be... Actually, really cool. Oh, no. Yeah, I could use the eye to kind of figure it out, but my problem is I don't memorize that well without doing is my problem. And even then, I don't memorize that well. My, I want to say I've got old man brain already, but my, my brain is very much filled with all sorts of information, and so it becomes a little difficult for me, especially while I'm talking, to remember, like, much of anything. Dang it. Like, I can remember a lot of stuff. Uh, very specifically, like, I can remember almost every video game I've played by name, which is a very specific and not the most helpful 
uh, skill to have, but somebody can be like, hey, Wander, you know, Metroidvania you played a couple years ago with procedural generation that wasn't very good. Chasm. Uh, let's go with another slightly more obscure one. Spell combination roguelike that most people have never heard of. Uh, it was pretty solid. Oh, made it. Astral Fragment. Our collectibles found in Astral Gates. It looks like they were part of a bigger structure. Woo, that was fun. Um, but Runers. Ow. My controller. Or my chair is right next to me. I'm in a standing... Or well, I've got my desk in a standing position. Lowered my elbow right on top of my funny bone. That's gonna be fun. Let's see. So let's go back up. See what I can get here. I'm trying to think of other more obscure video games. Even ones that I don't remember. Eh, no. Even ones that I wouldn't remember that easily. Yeah, it's tough. There's a couple that probably have fallen out of my brain. But, uh, like, it is not infrequent where somebody will describe a game to me. And I'll be like, yeah, I remember that one. Sometimes I forget, though. But it's rare. I guess earlier, Shell was like, hey, you know, there's this game called Galactic Lich that was tweeting about you. Do you remember them? And I was like... I don't think so. And then the answer was, oh yeah, no, I didn't remember that game. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can get this one. Yeah. Oh, right. We need his mushroom cap before we can do anything. Or his master's mushroom cap. Gosh. I All Metroidvanias need a sword pogo. Or some... Some analogous means. Uh, let's see. Have I done this? I think this is where I... S no... This is not where I started. Okay. Oh, wow. Butterfly is reasonably easy kill. Alright, what do we get here? Double flash. Parry flash will happen twice, doubling the amount of time you have to land a successful parry. Parry projectiles will also fly slightly faster. Ooh. I like that. I don't know if we have anything else here. And there's no falling damage. Yeah, what else do I have to say? I don't know. All sorts of things. I appreciate this so far. It very much is a Metroidvania made for Metroidvania fans. I would say a Metroidvania made for Hollow Knight fans. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that one. I think we actually do need a double jump to get to it. But I like all the, the little perks to kind of customize your experience. To say, like, hey, I am having trouble with this parry system. Let's see if I can make it a, ow, a little bit friendlier. I'm shocked that I managed to cross that. I really got to get used to the parry. I'm sure it will help immensely. What is this? Map pins. Place custom map pins on the map to mark interesting locations you might want to come back to later. Unfortunately, uh, the map only updates when I find a shrine. There is, a, so easy mode gets rid of that, and there's also a custom difficulty mode that also changes that. That's part of the reason why I wanted to potentially try and change the orb max MP. Dude, that's super nice. Okay, got him. Is there anything over here, or is that just liter literally a vengeance spot? I think that's the case. Anything there? No. I'm just gonna keep kind of wandering around. See what I can find. Nope, nothing there, nothing there. There's nothing like, uh... Wandering around in a Metroidvania that you've just started that isn't particularly on rails. Because there's very much that feeling of like, I have no idea where I'm going. But I will happily continue looking because I'm gonna find something that's cool. Like, inevitably, I mean, now that I'm, I know I'm kind of locked on this path, well, I tried the parry. There we go. Oh, well, here's a shrine. This might actually have a boss fight. So let's uh, unequip that. Swap page. So I think we want the knight's relic. Oh. Wait, powers? Oh, emblems. Ah, I have to equip it. Oh, so we have relics with their own currency system, but we also have powers with their own. So I can equip four emblems. And then there's spells. And then there's ability. <laughs> this has got 
some serious depth to it. And I know the map's pretty big, too. Well, considering I'm stuck here, we might as well fight Mag Magus Magus. Why does the one who gives life also take it away? I was right. I heard the sound of my brother's demise echo through these halls. It was right that the creators of this world would return, bearing the hand of destruction. I am ready to face the harbinger of death. The what now? Okay, we should probably heal. I did say I needed to get good at parrying. Okay, looks like we can dodge him a fair bit. I think this will be fine. Mostly. Looks like he got a little harder. And also his pattern's kind of predictable, which is nice. Whoops. Avoid that. Nope, nothing. All right, he's there. And yeah, it does look like he gets faster. One more hit. I am absolutely sloppy with these parries. Okay. We got two of them. Got it. Yeah, I gotta work on that. Even with the, uh, double flash. It's a little tough. Boop. Conjure Mush Mover. Conjure Mush Mover, which you can bounce off of. It'll break if you hit, hit it six times. Boop. Oh, that's kind of fun. I was expecting we get a double jump, but that honestly makes more sense. I like the music too, it's very mushroomy. Here lies the passage to the surface, secured by their hyperbolic host to prevent harm. Let none pass beyond the threshold without their permission. For the future of the world hangs in the balance. Huh. Fair enough. Just keep wandering. Wow, I've only been playing this for 27 minutes. I play a lot of video games that I can play for like an hour and be like, oh. N n not nothing happens, because that's dismissive. It's mostly just kind of that feeling of... Oops. Oh, do I? I have to worry about oxygen. That's... You know, actually, that makes a lot of sense. But, uh... I play, I play a lot of games where time just... I don't want to say kind of disappears playing them. I think that can be fine, too. Nope. I don't think I'm getting up there. It looks like the mush movers don't hang in the air, which actually makes a lot of sense. What did this guy have to say? Oh, that one. Hmm. At some point I'll be able to change. Also, that's a just a harp back there. Which is interesting. Okay, so I've done a big circle. There might be some stuff up there, but I think we want to actually head over to that other region. At this point. Wow. Yeah, I really got to parry, parry later. Or not later. Much earlier. I think I usually parry too late. That was the wrong button. Oh. But this... This is something I actually care about. I forget what that did. Oh, well. Oh, that's the discount. Eh, it's not that huge. But I'm sure it'll be helpful later. Here's the question. Can I actually teleport between these? No, it doesn't look like it can teleport to the small little guys. Yeah. So I can only teleport between the bigger ones, at the very least. I guess you can, in fact, kill those. I wasn't even really bothering because I'm lazy. But yeah, let's see what's over here. Worst comes to worst, this is also kind of a wash, but at least I can get in. 
Well, I kind of parried it. Oh, it's a bounce pad. Neat. And then we've got a bunch of resources there. Some kind of... As we collect things, we get more stuff. There we go. I like those boost pads. And yeah, the music is solid. I'm... I know... I'm pretty sure this is like a one developer product. Oh, I'm glad I didn't try and pogo that guy too much. That would have been, uh, spicy. Okay, it doesn't look like I can go the other direction. Should probably check out what's over to the right, but you never know. I'm gonna go up. I mean, every direction is valid. There we go. Well, I parried it the first time, but not for the rest. There we go. Let me past. I must go places. Is that a bad? That seems like a bad. And there's some kind of diamond thing here. Hmm. With a door. I don't think I can get there. We're very limited on where I can move to due to the fact that I am uh, due to the fact that I'm just shrooming it up with the most basic of equipment. That wasn't exactly ex what I was expecting when I took this path, but I don't hate it. Oh, and of course we're in an unmapped region. Probably heal up the rest of the way. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. We're just gonna wander. I mean, luckily that's true always, but you know, uh, I I don't want to say like part of the reason why I find that amusing is I still haven't seen Morbius and I probably won't. But when everybody was uh, memeing about like it's Morbin time or whatever, uh. I think that was just kind of a communal internet thing for a while. Oh, you're unsettling. Germwalker. I think I know where the mushrooms went. Maybe. Oh. You're creepy. That's different. Oh. Okay. Also weird. Let's just keep pushing this direction. I can't heal until we get some more mana. There's no reason for me to go that direction. All right, delete beetle. There. There's some. Uh, but the reason why it amused me mostly boiled down to every time I say, you know, let's just wander or something like that very much reminds me of that level of energy. And... I don't know. It was kind of fun for a while being like, yes, now everybody g gets to experience what happens when you name yourself after effectively a verb. Or if you turn your name into a verb. Hmm. This seems maybe not the right place. I'm trying to find that uh, fast travel shrine, but who knows, man. Screw Sentry. Yeah, he seems not happy about what I just did. I'll just keep I'll just keep messing around until oh actually I should probably heal. We get a lot of MP there. Be kind of silly not to. Also do have to remember that I have the ability to create a bounce shroom. Oh. I don't know how mm. Huh. I am... I am unsure if this is at all wise. Oh, there goes my HP. We can get it back. If those are the one enemies that I'm probably gonna have some trouble with.
Okay, we got that. Uh, unfortunately, pretty injured. Ow. Give mana. Nope, no mana. Oh boy. Got it. Whatever it is. Uh, probably a health piece, maybe? Ah. Uh, well, we survived, somehow. And we heal. I didn't want to fight that other bug. Okay, so we got a lot of that stuff there. We are still super unmapped at the moment. We are still super unmapped at the moment. Please, uh, can I have some mana? Just a bit, just a smidge, just to get my cap back on straight. Well, wow, there's a lot of these things. Unfortunately, I think we're out of luck on that regard, and I'm dead. Dang. What does that do? Oh, we're just back here. Ow. Yeah, I'll try and be more careful with that. Oh, do I lose? No, I don't lose the bonus max mana. I wonder if that that flyer dude. No, no, he was further down. You can kind of use them to traverse, but it's not that clean. I was wondering if I could actually use him to fly upwards. Hey, here we go. The problem is, where the heck am I? Where have I gone? It looks like the whole envir this whole area is, I was gonna say a bit circular, but it's not really. Now let's go to the right. I think there is stuff there. And yeah, I just gotta be better about timing my hits so I don't miss them. Sure, let's just go this way. What's the worst that could happen? More screw you, buddy. Nope, missed him. Yeah, I gotta get used to using the D-pad for this one. It's better than the stick. The problem is just I did not grow up with D-pads. Like, from my perspective, playing um, N64, the D-pad was vestigial. Beware, beyond this barrier lies a king whose mind has been tainted by the passage of time. He has forgotten that his title was bestowed upon him by the gods, and that it is the gods who hold sway over kings. Proceed with caution if you choose to enter, but know that if you're able to defeat this enemy, you'll gain access to ancient powers that will unlock other regions of this world. Cool. Time to get crushed. Screw King! The false god returns after forsaking us for all of these years. Your absence has been a clear indication of your weakness and your lack of power over this world. Now we, the new rulers, have taken over and your time has come to an end. Prepare to be crushed into pieces as I prove to all that you are nothing but a feeble shadow of your former self. Screw you. Alright. Oh. Alright. So... I can only hit him every once in a while. And I gotta be kinda careful. Okay. I see. Okay, uh... Not quite sure how to... Handle that one. Let's see, and I know he gets more aggressive. All of these bosses have so far, but I'm, I'm really liking the boss fight. It's got a good gimmick to it. Okay. Unfortunately, this one might take another try. Nope. Don't be there when he lands. Got him. I like his giant nose. Upwards dash. With this ability, you can perform an upwards dash that recharges either by landing on the ground or by hitting an enemy or spike with a downward slash. A while in the air to do an upward slash. 
or dash, my bad. So we got a double jump, finally. Yeah, there's nothing there, but still. The reign of the king has come to an end. The verdict has been rendered, further reinforcing the sovereignty of the deities in this kingdom. Mushroom. I don't know why, I'm immediately reminded- Oh, good, I fully healed. Um, I'm immediately reminded of, like, there's a meme where a person is threatening a mushroom. And all I remember is that the mushroom had, like, a really good monologue talking about how, like, mushrooms are eternal and that the organics uh, are burning perpetually. And I thought that was cool as heck. Very metal. I don't think I can bounce off of that. I'm not sure what that thing is. Some kind of boost pad. Anyway, uh... But this game very much is immediately reminding me of that in the best possible way. What a charming little Metroidvania. I don't think I'm going to push further than this just because uh, I'm, I'm slightly tired. It's been a long day and I've got a lot of editing to do and I want to get this video up before it's not heinously late at night. But I gotta say, in a crowded field of Metroidvanias, this does enough that I'd highly recommend it. This is one of those that I'm sure, from like a speedrunning perspective, there's probably a lot of toys in this toy box to play around with in interesting fashions. Like, how would I describe it? Lone Mushroom integrates a lot of what makes... Metroidvania's good. And various ones, too. I, I don't want to say it's like, stolen everybody's gimmick, because that's... that's too dismissive and also wrong. But that it saw... The developers saw what made other Metroidvanias good and figured out how to seamlessly put it into this one without it feeling shameless in any way, shape, or form. Welcome, Green Cap. I've been expecting you. Do you seek answers? Yes, please. Tell me what my purpose is. You are the lone fungus, the only mushroom left in existence. You are the only one with the power to bring your species back as the lone... Fungus, you are unique and special with the ability to bring new life to your kind. I'm all alone. How do I bring my kind back? In order to bring back the previous world, you must collect the essence of what remains. You have the ability to revive everything that once existed within you. However, this can only be done at the surface. The first step towards achieving this is obtaining a spell. The spell holds the essence of the mushrooms that used to live in this area can be found here above me. After completing this task, you will need to find a statue known as the Hyperbolic Host. This statue is the only way for you to access the surface once you have gathered all of the spells. Your path ahead will be full of danger, but don't be afraid. The fact that you are here, standing before me now, is proof that you are capable of handling whatever challenges come your way. You are our only hope, and we believe in you. I understand. I need to gather spells and talk to the Hyperbolic Host. I can do this. If you have any further questions about this world, I am here to assist you. My purpose is to serve you. Boy, that's creepy. What happened to all the mushrooms? I understand your desire to know more about this event, but unfortunately even I am not aware of the details. What I do know is that there was a tragic occurrence and some individuals were aware of it beforehand. As far as I know, all of the statues in this world were informed about you and placed in a state of sleep in order to awaken later and guide you. As for the specifics of the event, I am not sure. It could have been an attack from an external source, a deadly disease, or possibly even a decision to leave this place. I apologize for not having more information. What is this place? We are currently in the Color Caverns, which is just one region of the Capistool Halls. The kingdom was built a very long time ago, and although it looks rough now, I assure you, it used to be quite beautiful. There are ten different regions in Capistool Halls, and each region was originally inhabited by a specific type of mushroom society who constructed the place. In fact, legend has it that the Capistool Halls were created by a powerful group of mushroom sorcerers who harnessed the power of nature to create a utopia for their kind. Each region was designed to cater to a specific type of mushroom, and the inhabitants lived in harmony with one another. At least, that is how the legend goes. Cool! Why do I need to con collect these spells? These spells contain the essence of the different types of mushrooms that once inhabited this world. 
Each region has its own unique spell representing a specific type of mushroom. You will need their essence in order to bring them back. The powers these spells will give you might prove useful as well. If you don't acquire the spell for each region, the mushroom type that used to live there live in each respective hall will not be able to come back. What kind of mushroom am I? Your mushroom cap is different from the other mushrooms that used to live here. You possess a unique characteristic as a mushroom, being of a new generation. Embodied within you is the power to harness the magic of previous generations and rejuvenate the other mushrooms, offering the final chance for the ancient world to be restored. Me? Anymore? Who's the hyperbolic host? He is a statue of great importance that resides in the deep grotto. If you follow the path above, you will eventually reach him. He knows the solution of reaching the surface, but he will only open the way if you have collected all of the spells. It is crucial that you visit him in order to fulfill your mission. What are you? I am a voice. My purpose is to give knowledge to those who ask for it. Are you alive? No, not what you would consider alive. My consciousness is weak and my intelligence is considered artificial. However, while I have been waiting for you, I have been thinking about this question myself. Pondering this question has given me a certain fear of ceasing to exist. Does this make me alive? I don't know. I haven't met a lot of people and you seem alive to me. Perhaps my creators have bestowed life upon me in some capacity. Or perhaps I'm not comprehending the true meaning of life and consciousness, making it futile for me to ponder this question. You know how I was talking about that meme of the person threatening the mushroom and the mushroom coming back with one heck of a monologue? Uh, I think that inspired this game, maybe. Either that or it's like bizarrely parallel. Before I woke up, I heard a voice. Who was that? Hmm, that I do not know. What did the voice say? It said something about reaching the top of the world to bring them back. It's possible that your pur purpose is ingrained in you. The phrase top of the world could refer to the goal you must reach after obtaining the spells. It's odd that you heard this voice. This is a voice, though. I would definitely consider this a sign of the importance of your quest. Oh my god, there's just more. There is just constant. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, unfortunately, uh, my voice is starting to go, so I think I'm just gonna kind of chill. And just flip through some of this. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna just stop. Let's take a look at what's over this direction and read this. What are the ten sacred mushroom commandments for ensuring safety and prosperity? That shall respect and protect the natural world of the mushroom kingdom, for it sustains us all. Oh, I can get over here. Oh. That's tough. I might be able to get through that, but I might also go other directions for now. Anyway, so I think with this, uh, well, actually the video was not as short as I was aiming for, but it's fine. Lone Fungus is available in 1.0 on Steam today and possibly other platforms. I'm not quite sure on that one. I, I'll have to check it. Uh, nah. I don't know. I'll leave links in the description below if they're out on other ones. I think this would be like a banger, uh, this would be a banger Switch game too. All things considered. So where am I going? I should head back to that, that save statue just to preserve the dialogue with the librarian before I sign off for now. Because, yeah, this is a really good Metroidvania. Like I said, I think it wraps a lot of ideas together from other Metroidvanias together super confidently. And then also specifically as a person who loved Hollow Knight, I think this specifically, I don't want to say apes on that, but uses a lot of those ideas that made Hollow Knight great, but kind of in its own fashion too. So that might be the hyperbolic host and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but yeah, 10 different regions. This is not a short game either, which is nice. I like my Metroidvanias to be somewhere in the 10 to 20 hour range. Longer than that, I start getting bored. Shorter than that, I feel like it's unfulfilled potential, but that, that 10 to 20 range seems pretty perfect to me. Though obviously, if you speed run it or some other stuff, it's probably shorter. Uh, but with all of that said, I guess one last thing. Let's take a quick look-see at the store page. It's 20 bucks normally, down to 16 at launch. Uh, which I think is a very fair price for what it is. And, I mean, honestly, if you're a Metroidvania fan, I think this one should go on your list for games to consider picking up. Uh, especially while you wait for, I don't know, Sil Silk Song? And even then, I don't know. I, I like this a lot. I, I think it stands on its own in a very good way. It's just, it's a crowded genre, man. It's kind of hard not to... Oh, that's really cute. Uh, it's hard not to compare. But, sometimes those comparisons are favorable. This one is. So for now at least, let's leave our poor mushroom buddy uh, teetering on the edge. Not He's perfectly safe. He ain't gonna fall. 
uh, and leave you all for now. So I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.